بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک فرنس ویلکم ٹو نیدر ویڈیو لیکچر بائی کمی بیلی جی سو وی ٹاکٹ اباؤٹ ٹو ڈیفرنٹ ٹیپس آف دا ہائی پر سنسٹیوٹی وی ٹاکٹ اباؤٹ وی سٹارٹ دس لیکچر فرام انٹروڈیکشن آف دا ہائی پر سنسٹیوٹی اینڈ ناو دس از آور لاس ویڈیو لیکچر ریلیٹڈ وی دا ہائی پر سنسٹیوٹی اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ لاس ٹائپ وچ بی کالڈ ٹائپ فائیو ہائی پر سنسٹیوٹی سو لیٹ می رائٹ سو دس از واٹ دس از آور لاس ہائی پر سنسٹیوٹی ریئیکشن You know, let me tell you some important things. This type 5 hypersensitivity is not important in our daily life. It is not usually occurs in our daily life. So what actually happens in 100% there will be 2 or 3% chances of this type 5 hypersensitivity that will activate it inside our body. So it is not important in our daily life and it is not important for the exam as well. In the exam, 4 hypersensitivity are usually comes and in our daily life, these four hypersensitivity means one, two, three, four are also important in our daily life as well. So if still we talked about this type five hypersensitivity, so uh, this type five hypersensitivity, you know, it is also called what? It is also called a blocking or what? Or stimulatory reaction. So let me write blocking, blocking or st stimulatory reaction. stimulatory stimulatory reaction now why it is called blocking or stimulatory reaction because it can cause two types of disease once we call that gravis disease and other we call that mesthenia gravis disease this mesthenia gravis disease are actually related with this blocking reaction okay so usually in mesthenia disease blocking reaction are occur so they will cause what mess thenia uh, uh, mess thenia gravis try to remove the spelling mistake by yourself and uh, it can also you know this stimulatory reaction you know it is related to gravis disease so let me write it can cause what it can cause gravis disease so that's why we also call it stimulatory reaction so let me write gravis disease so let explain each of the disease you know each of disease is actually activated in type 5 hypersensitivity what actually happened in uh, first of all let me explain this gravis disease what actually happened in the gravis disease in the gravis disease we have thyroid hormones so let's suppose these greens are representing what these greens are representing the thyroid hormones. So let me sorry thyroid stimulated hormones. These are what these are the TSH thyroid stimulated hormone. Here the TSH is acting as what it is acting as a allergen. Because in hypersensitivity usually we talk the allergen. So here the thyroid stimulated hormone is act as an allergen then what actually happen they will activate thyroid cells so they will activate the thyroid cells so we have what we have the thyroid cell which is activated so let's suppose this is what this is the thyroid cells having a nucleus as well so let me draw the nucleus here these are the genome so this is what these are the thyroid cell so a lot of thyroid cells are activated because it is hypersensitivity so a lot of thyroid cells are activated each thyroid cells have receptors so let me draw the receptors with this black marker so they have what they have the receptors now each receptors will what they will receive this thyroid stimulated hormone which is actually allergen once they receive the signal of each allergen means of each thyroid stimulated hormones then what actually happen they will secrete uh, thyroid hormones so let me write they will secrete what they will secrete thyroid hormones thyroid hormones so let's suppose these black dots are representing thyroid hormones not only that they will also activate uh, some other cells 
we usually call that cell uh, B cells. Remember B cells which are converted into plasma cells. So they will you know activated the B cells. So let's suppose this is what this is the B cells having nucleus. Okay and they have what they have also their receptors. So this is the B cells. This B cells will be converted into what? This B cells is now converted into plasma cells. So let me draw the plasma cells here. So if you remember we talked that plasma cell is what? Plasma cell is the antibody machine or antibody factory or antibody industry. So they contain what? They contain a lot of antibodies. And each antibodies are secreted. Now, what kind of antibody, here the questions arise, what kind of antibodies they secrete? They secrete thyroid stimulated antibody. So let me write, thyroid stimulated antibody. So thyroid stimulated, a lot of thyroid stimulated antibody are secreted. Now what this thyroid stimulated uh, hormone can do, they will secrete or they will, you know, acting on this uh, thyroid cells once they acting on thyroid cells so thyroid cell will secrete or increase you know they will increase the amount of this thyroid hormone so a lot of thyroid hormones are secreted and this process is again start means the cycle is repeated again and a lot of thyroid hormones are secreted a lot of b cells you know uh, this uh, plasma cells are activated and antibodies are activated which we call it thyroid stimulated antibody and due to this way hypersensitivity is activated and they can cause you know finally they cause gravis disease what actually inside the gravis disease occur they are related to hyperthyroidism uh, in this case as all of you better know in this case uh, hyperthyroidism case uh, the you know the thyroid glands are uh, disturbed or inflammation occur due to which the neck portion are swell up sometimes this eyes you know the eyes are also you know uh, become open more open the eyes which shows uh, the gravis disease they can actually representing the gravis disease now what actually happen in mesthenia disease the same process is also occur but you know this mesthenia disease is a little bit different they will activate it what they will activate it IgG antibodies so these are what these are the IgG antibodies which are secreted by the plasma cells so these are let me draw let me write IgG antibodies each IgG antibodies will secrete it and cause, you know, uh, disturbance of the neuromuscular. They are actually neuromuscular disease because each of the IgG, a lot of IgG when are secreted, so neuromuscular uh, disease will happen. So what actually happen? <coughs> neuromuscular disease. So let me write. Neuromus disease so neuromuscular disease will happen in neuromuscular disease what actually happen in this case you know skeletal muscles are affected so they affect the skeletal muscle tell muscle skeletal muscle of what skeletal muscle of the face skeletal muscle of the um, you know eyes muscles we have uh, muscle of the mouth so around uh, you know in in the face as all of you seeing the eyes are affected nose are affected this lips are also affected during this disease what actually happen double visions you know a patient can feel double vision eyelids are dropped troubling talking patient will feel troubling in the talking and the patient will also feel troubling in the walking okay so these are the main kinds of the symptoms and these are the main kinds of the problems that are usually activated in the mesthenia gravis disease so this type 5 hypersensitivity are usually cause gravis and mesthenia gravis disease so that's how the gravis and mesthenia disease mesthenia gravis disease 
Okay, so that's all about that uh, five hypersensitivity. Let me tell you some important things. You know, in each of the hypersensitivity in type 1 to type 5 hypersensitivity, we usually focus, you know, uh, antibodies. We focus on what cells, uh, amino cells. Uh, we focus on immunity as well. So a lot of things we are, you know, focusing on the basic immunology. So inshallah, inshallah, in upcoming videos lecture, in the future videos lecture, we are going to cover the basic immunology. In the basic immunology, we are going to cover the, the, the types, structure and function of antigen presenting cell, type, structure and function of helper T cells, you know, type, structure and function of the cytotoxic T cells, MHC molecules, uh, antigen presenting cells, uh, uh, you know, antibody structure function. We are, and we are also going to talk about some chemicals, some cytokines which are secreted from each of the cells. Okay. So, inshallah, in the future videos lecture or in the upcoming videos lecture, we are going to talk about basic immunology. Okay. So, stay tuned and uh, or stay tuned or you can also subscribe the channel. So, subscribe the channel to get the upcoming videos lecture update. Uh, I hope you understand about uh, all these uh, types of the hypersensitivity. If uh, you understand, so best of luck. If you, if there is something missing, so then write it into comment. Or if you have any kind of questions related with each of the topics, so you can write it into comment. Inshallah, I will give you answer as soon as possible. So like all these hypersensitivity videos lecture, it, it is my request to all of you. And uh, also share this video lecture with your friends. And uh, must subscribe my channel because uh, we need your support. Okay, we need your support support and so for this purpose must subscribe must subscribe our channel okay thank you so much for watching